Your mic is off. <laughs> In the other series, Liquid got Earth Spirit for Jerix. And mm. if you didn't already know, Jerix is the he is godly. N- number one Earth Spirit player on the planet. Did and or I mean, apparently they're. Do- I saw him have a killing spree before seven minutes. <laughs> okay. He knows the limitations of that hero, exactly how far he can go before he's able to get out. It's it's very impressive. I look forward to watching that replay later, but instead we get this, where they ban Oracle and ban Earth Spirit and their dumb 6.86 haters. <laughs> and they're forcing uh, LGD to go 6.85. Dazzle okay, so you're plus? hating the teams that ban 6.85 heroes and hate the teams that ban 6.86 heroes. I want to see something funky <laughs> and something fresh. You want to see them ban 6.85 and pick 6.86? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Where's the cuddle? Cuddle was left in. It's just because Phonic is such an Earth Spirit hater. <laughs> He's like, guys, if you don't ban these heroes, I'm not playing the game. And they're like, fine, Phonic. Don't learn the new heroes. We'll just always ban them and be crippled. <laughs> well, they're going to open up with a Vengeful Spirit, which may or may not be a support or a core. And the follow-up is going to be an AA uh, as a response, I assume, to the Dazzle here. Dazzle Tusk, that's right. This is This is what LGD are going for now. They obviously had a very hard time in game number one. They were trying to kind of go back in their time machine to TI two days, but that, that's not working. Not against Empire. So how do you prepare for a team like Empire, then, if you're LGD? A you play as a team, firstly. I okay. think a lot of the time they just rely on Siler too much. Because you, you, you joke a lot about the TI two days, but they honestly still kind of play like that. That's with why the four protect one. Yeah. Uh, I think maybe is one of the best new school mids coming out of China, but even he's kind of seemed like he's... He, they, I don't know. It just seems like he's given up on the rest of his team. It's, it's like, like he's not get. He doesn't get to have fun. He doesn't yeah, it's get like, to do it's like where things. are you guys? Like, come on, come help me out. Come get some kills, and nothing happens on the map. And then he'll just take his paycheck. Yeah, he'll take his paycheck. He'll just take his, I guess he's okay with his it. Fat LGD paycheck. I'm sure he's getting, and just play the game. But after they lose the laning phase, they're like, okay, well, now maybe Siler carry us, and then it just seems like that. That's how it goes most of the games, unless. The supports are very active. I've seen some games where MMY plays Tusk, where he actually gets out of control. But I think he's kind of the the driving force for their early game. If he doesn't move around a lot, it just seems like everyone's okay with sitting in their lanes and losing their lanes. So what do you think is a uh, and you said Tusk? Tusk so. is, I think, the best for MMY. I don't like yeah. ROTK's Tusk. It's what it's should ROTK go for? This is a guy we used to know play a lot of Darkseer, play a lot of Doom in the off. I remember at Frankfurt when he played Earthshaker one game that was really good. Oh yeah, you're right. I remember that, that was game. A disgusting. That was his best game, and it was. The, I don't want to be mean, but that was the only game I was like, oh ROTK, hell yeah. That was one of his best games. It's just because he played around his team a lot. He like waited for them to initiate. I don't really think he's that great of an initiator. He's more of a counter initiator. I think it's. It's really tough for him because he has a captain, a lot of talent, and everyone has their own ideas on how the early game should go. Maybe LGD should go for the Huskar here. <laughs> <laughs> that hero's dead, guys. For real There's though. no way they're picking Huskar <laughs> versus AA. Yeah. That they is. Like, so oh, yeah. Funny. Oh, for the AA. I just saw the Dazzle, and I'm like, and no ban on Huskar. You, you, Ooh. You. You're so funny, Mr. Cox. Oh, thank you so much, Winter Chan. Thank you. Well, LGD, if they're not going to go down that road, we'll have to see mm. what they do decide to do Gyrocopter? here. Gyrocopter? is still in the pool. This is, I feel like that's a good hero that suits Siler that, yep. yes, he can go late game, but he also can contribute a lot early. Or, like, by the na- hero by nature, just you TP in and you're going to get stuff Where is Invoker? Second stage, maybe? Yeah, Empire... I'm surprised they banned SF, because SF doesn't seem to be Empire's go-to as much anymore. Oh. They should get Resolution Invoker gonna, right now. They are going to be Invoker. This, game, you know. Empire's turn to pick. this is good. This is... Ma- makes a more upbeat tempo for LGD. They want to yeah. get more kills early. They have the Tusk in the off lane, and they can pressure the Ancient Apparition a lot with the Bounty Hunter. Gyro Bounty, let's go. Like I, I'm, I'm really surprised Gyro's, Gyro's been like first banned for a lot of the tournament. Or, or... Yeah, maybe Gyro. Hmm. Or what? It doesn't sound s- exciting or new, but the hero did not get changed much at all. Ten yeah. So... And it's what you do if you want to win. It's good against Empire, who want to fight early. They'll play aggressive. You kind of were asking, like, what LGD need to change? They need to get more early game and, like, less... Yeah. Like, prepare for the Empire aggression. You which know is when we are watching a Dota 2 replay, there's a button? Increase replay speed. That's what LGD need to do. Increase <laughs> their tempo. The tempo of the game. Okay. They yeah. have to play faster. Push it to the limit. 
No, not to the limit, but they're gonna have oh, to play okay. faster. So like how fast? Yeah. Limit is like, like playing with sixty five like miles per hour fast? Uh, two point five. Two point five X. Yeah. Two point five two point five inches fast. Okay. Yep. Winter knows all about the two point five. Oh, a tiny coming oh. out again for Empire. How jolly. Could be like a Bane tiny. Yeah, it could just be a support tiny that wants to make pulls happen. Uh, Never I think know. less off, unlikely. Off lane tiny is actually quite good. No. Yeah, I think it's unlikely support, but are you off lane or mid with like a Bane? They did a bit of the Bane tiny at game show when Winter and I were there. Bane and Tiny were like the hot picks yeah. during game. Well, game. like especially you see these three first picks, all of them pretty much die to one tiny combo when you get like a fast blink. So yeah. you don't need to have to have the IO to run the tiny. Okay, so LGD are gonna look to have a mid lane that goes well with BH. Usually we see Lina, TA. So, Corp as well. Yes. Nah, Corp, Corp really is re mm. very weak nowadays. I think Corp is not that great of a pick in Earth. What about Viper? I mean, I hate to suggest him. <laughs> I don't think maybe plays no, Viper. Viper is bad versus Ancient Apparition. Yeah. I can tell you that. Because Viper relies a lot on the magic stick and the mech. And his team making sure that he's he's sustained with, with the dazzle, but with the AA, I don't think Viper is a good thing. I didn't want to see him anyways. You don't have to see him, but you'll I see him in your dreams him. after this. I do. It's disgusting. Yeah, disgusting yeah. dreams. Disgusting. Shooting green goo everywhere. Yeah, and then it's in my sheets. I don't like it. We'll see what they go for now. They gotta change things up. We're we're anticipating maybe go more fight heavy here. Not so. Uh, I still think you both one. Invoker. I think LGD Invoker is really good. Run Invoker, yeah. Does maybe play it? Yes, of course. Uh, yes. <gasps> yes, How of can course. You not play Invoker? I don't know. Can you play Meepo? Same reason you can't play Meepo, maybe. Yeah, right. Meepo's High skill cap heroes, Meepo's they can't play that. Invoker. Yeah, Invoker is different to Meepo. Like, there's some heroes you can't play. <laughs> you know, just like some people can't play Meepo, some people can't play Invoker. Like Mushi. Why are you yeah. going to discriminate? Yeah, can Mushi play Invoker? No. Yeah, c can RTZ play Invoker? He can't play. Oh my god. He can play Invoker. Of course he can. Can he? Yeah. I've seen him. Lean as the pick, though. Exciting. And a quick response, Bane. Bane. Obvious in some ways. Yeah. This is actually really going standard. to be rough, though. If their lanes don't go well, Tiny yep. Tiny can destroy every one of their heroes. Yep. Just, I guess, Phoenix hero, the last and, pick. And the other thing I don't like about this is the Tusk is again on offlane. I, I think Tusk offlane is a bit too weak right now. I mean, he's yeah. okay, but you yeah. I don't think it's, just, it's justified as offlane right now. He's good at support, Five seconds but not often anymore. But and we'll see. Nah. Oh, or shaker ban. He's targeting off lane options. Oh. A blue hero would fit nice with them. Oh, anti mage ban. I guess he. They have okay catch for anti mage. So does Siler want to play? Morphling, terrible per se. No. Juggernaut. No. Gyrocopter, come on. Juggernaut's okay. How is is there anything Gyros. that's actually better than a gyro pick here? I I don't I don't see. May, not to say they're mm -hmm. definitely picking it, but I just don't see it. Go back that and get, a, more sense. get like a weaver that in there or something. That is actually a good point. There's not much that's better than Gyrocopter. Ten seconds remaining. Rave King. I Does he know. play Rave PL? Is, is PL better. terrible? I hate when it's so just predictable like that. It, sh it should have been a Gyro ban, I think. But it's yeah. Empire just confident and more worried they, I guess, about AM. They think they AM. can deal with the Gyro and against AM if they make a misstep early game. Yeah. It's more pressure to play against AM than Gyrocopter. Because so Gyro is going to farm faster. Yep. Is I mean, sorry, not Gyro. AM is farming faster. So I think Gyro is much more easier to deal with in that sense. Are you looking for a Funic hero now and keeping Havos on this core ventral spirit? Do you get him like the uh, Ooh. Baden? Goodbye, track. Is this the Logan track coming out? Goodbye, track. That is Logan. Da Hong Pao, Abaddon. All right. Logan. All right. Well, as you said, very good at getting rid of the track. Very frustrating hero to have to deal with. I'm very curious where Bounty Hunter's priorities are going to lie. Is it still kind of fuss with the mid lane a bit? And then... Uh, it's not easy to mess with the tiny, you, you, though. You can't mess with the mid lane this game. Yeah. You have because Abaddon is very similar to Darkseer. If you have two heroes against him, you can't deal with him. He's going to pressure your safe lane a lot. Yep. So you, you need... Sometimes you see when teams, they draft Razor to deal with Abaddon. You cannot have like a weak laning support, a uh, laning carry against that. Gyro is okay. Any chance they aggro tri lane and do just Tusk 1v1 versus Abaddon? Oh, Abaddon is going to win that matchup. Abaddon will win that matchup. 1v1. I'm not sure. I guess it's more that Gyro can. like you. I don't think you can with a bounty hunter. Yeah. Okay. You will lose the 1v1 and you will lose your tri lane. Yeah, you'll lose. Probably a bad idea for them. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to WCA, game number two, Empire versus LGD. Empire win this one, they move on to the next round, and LGD, how they got to get the hell out. How much money will they win if they win this one? I don't know. Tell us. Four, four. Was like, I think getting fourth place, I think, was like $45,000. Third place, I think, is like seventy to ninety or something. There first will be, place uh, is three hundred seventy k. So wow, first place is that's where cool. it's at. When you get it? Yeah, it went in two thousand and yeah. no interest something. though. No interest. And uh, we'll have to see. LGD put the pedal to the metal here. Game number one just really did not get off to any sort of relatively good start. It was Empire through and through here. And uh, resolution will be yeah back on the tiny once again. So I'm not expecting any sort of fancy pull tactics. He's going to get the assistance he needs from Bane to have a solid start. AA could be there to help with stacking a bit or assisting with Havos there on the bottom. And Funic, well, we don't know how much experience he has playing this offlane. Abaddon maybe has been using it as pubs a bit, but it's we'll not see hard how to play. Goes. You just yeah. need to understand how strong you are in the lane and what items to go to. Be a man. Be a man. Da, 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 coursing I think it's like okay, we see a fight. Oh no! Toss back on the Lady Lena, and maybe he's dead, and this oh, is no. over. That is bad. That All is right, bad. well, most important good run player on the team. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go through to the semifinals now. And now we will push on. Obviously, Res uh, Empire have a very strong level one fight. Chilling touch. Nice Chilling toss. Frostmon. Curse of awareness. Who got the last hit on the kill? Did we see? I don't know. No, not allowed. Okay. No big deal. Oh, there we go. AA. Okay. AA. Wonderful. Hey, supports are happy with first bloods. That means they get those next set of wards or even boots a bit yep. faster. Very Whoa. nice. That was a Ouch. Heal bomb. That was a heal bomb. That was three was it? neutrals. Okay. That was the Laguna Blade. <laughs> yeah. Level one Laguna Blade. Oh, a Fortic Shield. He didn't actually have passive for that. Just, just hit him, Phonic. Be, yeah, a, just be a, a man. Hit him! Yeah, you're winning this fight. You'll win. Now you have the creeps. Funning is really good when he gets this type of offlane heroes. The heroes that can disrupt a lot. And if you get a 1v1 matchup with those heroes, you are very strong. I think that's his best type of role on the offlane. He's really good in one-on-one -on -one matchups. Yeah, he's like probably really scary to play with if you put your carry 1v1 against him. He has that famous one-on-three matchup he had of a Tidehunter where he just dove into the tower uh, and killed was, them all. That was with stand-ins. I know, I know. Yeah. But I'm just saying, this guy... We'll recognize the opportunity to go man mode here. And my f my favorite one v one moment with him was it was I can't remember who, which team it was against, but it was the best of three. And this is when Doxier and like he used to play Clinks in the safe lane. And first game he played Clinks versus Doxier one v one. He crushed the Doxier. Next game he played the other side and crushed the Clinks as Doxier. Like two games back to back in the best of three, and it was just complete uh, domination. I do miss Phonic in his in his prime. I hope he gets to revisit those glory days when his. It's very scary he, tides and bat riders. Now, I think he's getting that out. Yeah, he's, he's, he's looking really pretty good. good. Recently, in recent good. games, he's been sh showing very solid performances. And I think the biggest thing is his team, this team right now, understands how to use him. Yeah. Well, we'll see if we cast or curse him or not <laughs> in this game. But for now, it's off to a, a, a respectable start here. But the supports have given up on zoning him out. You can't. It's a you can't. They have yeah. to protect mid as well. You can't zone on a badem with one hero. You need two supports to do it. He, they're just gonna have to accept the fact that he's going to have experience. a good start. Yeah, yeah and get XP mm. and maybe some last hits, and just hope that their attention into mid lane or maybe bottom or whatever. By the way, is AA be looking for a courier, but not gonna find out. I don't think. He picked up a haste and Looks like he's trying yeah. to. Yeah. Huh. But there's no courier to be moving at all on the side of LGD. I approve of that play, though. Of course you approve. You're the, you're the master. Oh, yeah. you know? Career sniping master. The mastermind behind it. You gave me a lot of ideas. I have a very high success rate on career sniping. Like I, whenever Games where I commit to going for I feel like I have 75% success Do rate. Do you remember I did it once in a tournament when you were casting? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you immediately all chatted. <laughs> was, shout out to, shout was, to Parker. It was so rude, actually, but I should have done it. <laughs> hey, I liked it. It was against LGD. <laughs> <laughs> they probably didn't like it too much. Yeah, they, did. Uh, they, they, they were probably quite upset by it. You just have to mind game them. Like if you know they're gonna try to juke the mid path, like you have and, to and you predict know, it. Why? Because I got excited because we won the first game. Ah, okay. Then we lost that game. That was when you were in China, was it? Yeah, we were in China. Yeah, yeah. Last, oh, last year. 
And Snowball will keep him alive. I'm yep. not sure if that Cold Feet falls through. It looks like it nope. does not. They will end up losing the Bounty Hunter here. And Havos looking to go in here on Mr. Oh, he ROTK. He tried to man up on oh, AA, no. but now he, he gets stunned up. No. He think? missed, And he missed the shots pull. Creep wave not very forgiving, He was though. actually very hesitant in going in there. <laughs> but too bad they lost the BH for nothing. And a BH who does not have that strong start, uh, it gets a bit awkward, especially against a team like Empire who love to group up and fight. This bounty hunter could quickly become uh, garbage. I don't know how else to say it. So Irrelevant. Yeah, irrelevant. That's a nice way. <laughs> That's a nice way. Especially hard against the Abaddon, who can always just get rid of the tracks. You know if Abaddon gets a good start, like you get Vlads and your mm -hmm. items early, it's so hard for them to fight. If your BH is not... Because BH, if you don't get a good start, you can't really do yeah. much in five men situations. Yep. Hi! Oh, Hi, uh, Memoi! We have a sentry here. <laughs> they plan it, he's gonna put him to sleep, get the obs, and then as he wakes up, oh. he gets tossed up, avalanche, and killed! They didn't heal him, they didn't grave him. They got the AA kill though, that's fine. Uh, that's like three straight wow. takedowns. Tranquil Boots is the choice for the Abaddon. Is Bounty Hunter Do all like three the of their face kills? face boots normally? It depends on the situation, but I, I mostly like face boots more. Especially this game, there's a lot of magic new, like Ooh. against stuff like Rocket Barrage and all that. I feel like the you don't need the extra armor this game you at you all. You want to be able to run in and hit people. Yep. That's actually very important on the hero. Tranquil's to me is more like if you're Having to uh, your support. Yes. No, if you're uh, having a tough game as well, you're gonna yeah. Them. Yeah. Ooh, Dude, look at those tranquils. His strings are still on. That's true. Yeah, he only counts on <laughs> me. That situation, the tranquils actually owned. Almost got him. <laughs> I guess at phase at the same time, so to be able to do a similar thing if you just phase away. Yeah, that is weird. He got tranquils. Dude, were you even listening? I'm just like, uh, I don't know why, I just said, tr you know, I heard Tranquil's... Tranquil enough. Soul's good. I don't know if you need it anymore. No, that's Typically the builds support. phase I tried yeah. Vanguard. I tried both the builds, Phase Phase Vlads. Phase, I'm oh, sorry, I said yeah, Vanguard. Yeah, phase Vlads I, I, is what I, I meant. think that's what you meant, yeah. Yeah, 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 you don't get a, f yeah. don't get a fuck Tranquil Vanguard. Tranquil Soul's more of a support <laughs> build. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, maybe, you know, move speed armor, why not? If you are having a bad game or your support, then you go for the, maybe yeah. the soaring tranks into it's mech. But he's not having a bad game. Yeah. It's not like an item, like a. Diff it's not like a. Oh, you got tranquil in phase. It's gonna like. It's not gonna make much of a difference though. It's a very small thing. Yeah, it's a small thing, but it does limit a lot of his, you know, pressure that you can put up with the hero in the laning phase if you don't get a phase. Uh, he's gonna get ganked. Not level six yet, I believe. Yeah, okay. he's dead for sure. Couldn't get the deny off. That's not too big a problem for Empire though. Yeah. You have to commit four heroes for that. Hey. Commit a lot, put an ult in there. Ult Tusk is a lot of levels though, he's level six so LGD will be ready to to fight and kind of up the tempo fairly soon. Yeah, this game, their yeah, tempo should be a lot, a lot faster than last game. Yep. yep. Tusk having a good start, it's very helpful for them. Mm. You run around, it's easy for him to get kills. They'll probably want to give Bounty a lane while the Tusk runs. R Tusk wants to run around, look for kills while Bounty tries to maybe farm his six. Yeah, now. that's the best way for them to. And execute. they have Gyro on their team. Yeah, ex just go around with Tusk Gyro right now, and you, like that. Those two heroes are so good at finding kills. That's like, why the teams always open their first phase with Tusk Gyro. Yeah, that all the time. Old patch that was like one of the. Because you just snowball and you get a kill with call down rocket barrage. Yeah. So that easy. means Seller has to not farm though and actually mm. go out and do what's, stuff. What's wrong? They're that's I'm just saying that doesn't seem like a Silo. They thing did pretty to do. good at that. Like the old patch when LGD had their most success was when Silo was playing Gyro and maybe was playing like more the Ember. Yeah, Ember or SF. Yeah, Ember SFTA like the carry mids. Yeah. And it was actually Silo who was playing more of the posi like second priority in terms of farm. Alright, well, hopefully it's kind of like do it here. Similar to what Burning's doing, wow. like transitioning as a carry, just not quite to the. You can actually place that wall like this without being detected by the tower. Huh. Okay. He actually went just right over there. LGD know the new patch. The that's nice. Oops. And a kill bomb lane. Oh, that's a Tusk. Tusk should not be alone trying to farm. Like, you already got level 6. I he feel was like going for the rune 8 minutes. He yeah. died at the rune spot. He had a bottle, so... <laughs> I, but once you're 6, you don't want to just stay bottom, like, trying to contest the lane. You want to be smoking, grouping up with your team, finding kills. Yeah, I, ideally, you want that. Ideally. And giving the lane for the bounty is very important now. 
I guess he knows that her boss will just push the tier 1 if he tries to like head top or something with the gyro. I think ideally you want gyro to rotate to the off lane and give bounty safe lane maybe. Uh, you want to make a rotation with him. I think smoke with a tusk. Yeah. You want kills before they kill get the their ultimates. You smoke yeah, that's what I'm saying. Bench. You want to you want to smoke towards bottom because if you smoke towards top, Havos pushes your tower. I think that's okay. You don't really care if you kill Venge. I think killing like Tiny, AA, Abaddon, those are the important heroes. Right. We'll be gonna go for Tiny now. Walrus punch. Rotation's Whoa. coming in. Still enough to finish him he off. They have to commit the Laguna to you get see him. Down. He waited for that stun. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so patient. Gets the tourist stuns. Oh, swap back. And what was quick that range. Grave. Quick oh, grave. That's a big cooldown though. Yes, it is. And look at that. DDC's going to be able to make it back in a way. And Havos will be going down. Disaster, unfortunately, for Empire. Committing a rotation and everything. And they're looking for more here. More. Yeah, it looks like they will be able to get little Bane here. Just run in and try to deny yourself. Oh. Shots. Go, go, go. Put yourself to sleep. Create space. Man, Does go he have enough mana for shots? Do some. Pop a smoke. He has it soon, I think. One last blaze. Well, Use mana. your fairy fire. Oh. Well, that was good. But... Uh, Unfortunately for them, I was right Ooh. before all their ultimates. How's Bounty's levels looking? I don't think not we sure. control this camera person, unfortunately. Uh, but oh no, we do. Oh, we do. Level four. I'm not sure if we do. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, there's, I see two curses on the screen. <laughs> I think it's one of the cameras, but we're clicking around as well. <laughs> Who knows? I see two curses on the screen. I get confused. Five to five. Back, back even as far as kill goes here, but. It is 10 minutes after all. We should probably yeah. resolution 1500 switch gold to the net worth. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> we just there got go. there. Now we're talking. Boom. And as you can see, it's a uh, it's an LGD advantage right now as far as cores go. Yep. And Tiny, I thought would do better in the mid mid lane this game, but he died. He got ganked just now. Yeah. So that's a big. Lean is a really hard matchup too. Mm -hmm. It was more he had the the jewel lane with the bane, but. Attack. LGD had Dazzle there as well. Yeah, Dazzle was never top for an early game. Mm. Ooh. Can I get the ah, tag man? Not close enough. Raise his hands and put it back down. So LGD looked like their move was towards bottom. This is where you kind of want to just ditch the top lane or if, if, like, if, if you're not going to try and defend it. Which it seems they are. Tusk is uh, rocked up, so... They have really good farm and levels on their cores, though. Yep. It's really important for LGD. Only thing they're missing is that that bounty level 6. Mm -hmm. And there you go. Empire just going to fall back. So LGD getting towers and not losing anything. Okay. They will lose something. Swap, sap, AA blast is coming here. Cool. And it will help secure the kill mm. just after picking up the drums. That's such a good coordinate, that gang. Dude, that level 1 swap range keeps looking like it's longer than before. It got buffed like a patch or two ago. Yeah, was it six point? Was it the previous patch? It got buffed a little. It got it's like, like fifty or a hundred extra range. Hundred range, I think it got yeah. buffed. But it stays the same at level sixteen. But it yeah. just got better. It was just the level one. Yeah, level one. I think level one was buffed hundred range, and level two oh, was this buffed fifty range. No, no the, pre the, the previous, previous patch. The previous patch. The six point eight five. I mean, I saw a lot at six point eight five. It just doesn't seem like that swap range is. It's pretty good though. At yeah, level it's one good now. at one now. Yeah. Both of the times I've seen it, it's like wow. That yeah, I, I remember it used to be pretty dinky, so I'm surprised it's that long. So he's going for the soul ring build. I'm, I think I'm not so sure. He has a ring. It might be a Vlad's, but Tranko's Vlad is no, I don't know. It's just borrowed Whoa. time Abaddon. Yeah, so uh, support Abaddon. I think he's gonna go soul ring. Maybe even a mech this game for his team. Gets Could still be the the Vlad. He doesn't have mana pool for mech though. With no, if you have soul ring, you have enough. Okay. Oh yeah. Soul ring. Go soul ring. Yeah. Oh! Jump for OTK, brace sap, toss, alive with a shallow grave, snowballed up, looking to move on in. Call down comes out from Siler, and they're going to be able to get that swift kill, taking down the yep. bane. Tracks. Our OTK lives. That was Trek. Yep. These yeah. Dazzle Graves have been pretty clutch as well this game. It's the second, second fight where it's been able to help get an extra kill and also save someone's life. Bam! Damn! LGT mm -hmm. firing back here in game number two. In the early part. Yeah, so. this game, their draft and overall strategy is much, much better. More fast pace, looking yep. more to fight instead of being very, very passive in yep. the game. 
And I felt like the Bounty Hunter wasn't having the best start, but look at this, he's got Arcanes and a Buckler yeah, already. Yeah, but the thing is, like, Tusk got a really good start, so he repaid his team with all the space that allowed the PH to catch up to get level 6. I mean, he died, he died in a few exchanges, but I think overall he did his job to make space for BH and the rest of the team. Do you think the Abaddon has to be up in their face a lot, like, a lot more instead of the Tranquil style that he's playing? Yeah, that's what I was saying with the face. You need to pressure with... Because I, I played a lot of Abaddon when I was here for the Summit 4, because I was trying to understand why everyone is playing Abaddon. And I tried all the builds. Yep. And I, I realized why they are going face boost, because you pressure and you force rotations to your lane, because you're troubling the carry. Mm. You, instead of like sometimes when you play Tranquil's build, you feel like it's better for yourself because you are able to sustain, but you exert less amount of pressure. The most ideal build I feel is a face into Vlad's. Yep. That is the best build. Yeah. Because you run at the carry and you pressure. Yep. That's what you want to do. And you get level 2 Frost mod. I mean, because of it's all these like Vlad's has all these small items you can mm -hmm. buy, so the build up's really nice. Like, even just having the Ring of Protection, drum you're really well. tanky. Ideally, you want to have drums and the Vlads together, yeah. but most importantly, if you can transition yourself into the Aghanims later. That is the crucial part. Going That's for oh. a kill here. Havos, can you get the swap out? Oh! Okay. He's out of there. See you later, Bane. Thank you. He's <laughs> <laughs> there. Re reverse swap Didn't save. have a say. <laughs> that is still a pretty bad death, though, because yeah. he was track kill. Yep. And, did, like, did, Venge is not in fighting position. Did so they actually get a track on Bane? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Because they were tracking Hovos before, I know. <laughs> yeah, they probably didn't have time to track both. Airball. I'm not sure on that. So Abaddon was going Vlad's, it looked like, next. Hit the yeah. address. And probably break. Trankos is a bit weird, but it's still good. Vlad's is still good for his, for his team. He's not really drawing that much fire, though, as a Abaddon. Yeah. yeah. That's the main re That's point the one of the hero. You I draw attention. Like, because when we always bring up the name Logan Bufton, like, as like, I play like Carrion Pubs, and whenever I run in that game, it's fucking miserable. He's he always makes, in your face. He makes playing safe lane carry like the most miserable thing ever. <laughs> Be like, mo normally it's Abaddon. He also plays the Omni, but it's the same playstyle regardless of the hero. He'll stronger just, than Abaddon. Yeah, definitely stronger than Abaddon. But he just it gets in your face. He's just hitting you all the time, doing as much harass as possible, and. You're just like begging your support for help constantly. He was stronger in that patch because of the the lane, the lane yeah. placement. Yeah. Right now it's not so strong. Because the creeps are way nearer to your tower, it's harder to harass that hard. If I see him, I'm just like, I got to play gyrocopter or something like that. That's, that's all there was. Gyro or juggernaut. Yeah. If you don't play those two, like I, uh, you you can't pick any like fringe carries or like hard carries like a specter or something. Lone druid could own them. Yeah, but lone druid like sucks in the mid game. Like, Lone Druid, like the first 10 minutes goes really well, and then like you're useless for like the you next 5 minutes. You know you can't kill minutes. anyone if you have a baddon on enemy team as Lone Druid because of the shoe. Yeah. Track, oh. track, track, track! Oh, they can't get the track off. That was very close of getting it. That was a 4-man track, so it was huge. So, good news for Empire. Wasn't a track kill. You know, I gotta give <laughs> shoutouts only because I saw him in the chat here. At Major, Bruno was saying like, Abaddon's gonna be a big thing. I can feel it. This was before the Logan craze started yep. up through the summit, so he made a good call. He said Ags Abaddon, which is kind of the luxury grab up. We don't get oh to see yeah. a whole lot oh of it, shit. but it definitely is power. pretty damn good once it happens here. We're gonna be seeing a swap back. We're gonna make it to go for DDC here. Abaddon gonna be popping off his ultimate as he's gonna be the lone survivor for his team, and he's not able to get the kill. He's gonna be forced to retreat out. He's gonna be able to make punch. it back and away. Ooh. He will. He used the punch on the bench. Yep. So there was no more disables there. No snowball and punch. LG is still getting. A lot, just wherever they go. This is looking really good for them. Oh, oh, got him. Not enough oh, yet. Okay. Sleep. Nightmare. Don't go anywhere. Oh, even a fiend's grip for this one. Safety first. It's nice snipe coming in from <laughs> AA. What a beautiful KS. Yeah, he just wanted to make sure Tiny was okay because Tiny got used by the Lena, so he yeah. couldn't get away. That was that was definitely just for safety measure. Yeah. For Tiny not to die there. In Bane Grip is not that big of a cooldown, it's okay, but it's still a big kill for them. Tusk will pick up his Blink Dagger now, and a Midas on AA. And I gotta say, normally I play AA, if I get a Midas before 20 minutes, I'm pretty happy, so. It'll help a bit with the levels and stuff, but it still feels like LGD are the ones to, to dictate this game. I mean, it's it very right clear that Empire understands that if you're gonna win this game, it's gonna be a late game. We, we cannot win this game right now, because mm. we are in a lot of trouble. So the Midas, but Midas just makes sense. But Bane, gonna go down again. 
somehow. Probably a track kill. <laughs> Fight recap. Track? Yep. Uh, track yep. was used. Alright. Nice it's good because point. Empire don't really have that much that many ways to like jump on people. Bane has been forced to react to LGD and Tiny has blink, but he also wants to farm because Venge isn't the hardest of carries. So they're they're in this like weird spot where their fighters also need a farm. You don't consider Venge a very hard carry? I Venge don't think so. She's actually a pretty no. hard carry though. She went uh Sange too. Did you see the game where Burning out carried a yeah, PL? Yeah, did you see that Summit? game? Yeah, I mean I I I think she's decent. But she I has think limitations. she's strong though. Big game. She's really strong because of the stats she get and how much damage you output. Even without you don't you don't need damage items. You just need like maybe a Manta Helm of Dom. You're actually doing so much. I damage. think she farms way too slowly. Well, uh, yeah, because her uh, her farming options are so much more limited than all those other big bad carries. Yeah, but you you provide a lot of utility for a team. You buff your team with auras. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you're if you're playing around the Venge and you're on the up and up and I mean, you're pushing a, and pushing and pushing. That's pushing. the thing when you pick Venge, you need to build a lineup around the Venge. Yeah. And they have a tiny, so it's not only the Venge being... But in games like this where you're just kind of stuck to be a bit more passive and play the economy game or whatever, Vengeful Spirit does not win that game. They are able to get the grab here on BH. And Bane's trying to get a Fiend's grab off, but he gets punched right in the face. And he's trying to creep away from this call down a bit. Phonic's going to be there to assist him. Siler going to be committing the BKB for this. LGD... Not picking up any that kills. That was such Empire a here. play by Siler right there. Oh my goodness. Swap back, snowball, ROTK. Nice blink out, but not going to get him far away. And eventually Havos will get the get the hold. Do go down from the side of LGD. That was so greedy. He called down and then he ignored the Bane because he thought he was dead. And then he went in and then Abaddon used all his stuff on the Bane. Oh uh, yes, the classic turn and walk window. away when they actually live. <laughs> he dropped a call down, so he thought he was okay. But yeah, just not. No, oh, they were... Uh, <laughs> They were actually scared. <laughs> Good discipline. There you go. Abaddon gets the Vlads as Bounty gets a mech on the dire side. Did he stop and get something else? I felt like he had that buckler for so long on that Bounty Hunter. I thought he was going to have that mech a bit uh, sooner. This is an okay timing. Well, he's got 20, it, 20 minutes is quite, yeah. quite good for support. Yeah, I'm just saying. Just saying. Sometimes you go through a dry spell. You won't find a kill or two, and then you gotta gotta wait till you get lucky again. <laughs> lucky. <laughs> Sometimes you know or you, you need to do the kill to kill you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> just open up your wallet and say, "This one's mine. <laughs> no work needed." Okay, oh, there we go. Tracks track. are out, but that wasn't. I don't think it was a track on resolution. They have one yeah, here on the bane. Uh, yeah, I think he tracked the bane actually. <laughs> yeah. And Bane will lose that track with the help of the shield and make it away, but the high priority kill in resolution is achieved here for LGD. Ooh, Dragon Lance. On Lena. On Lena. Very nice. Oh! I saw the Ogre Club. I was they might get Silar here. He's going to be forced to BKB and walk away. And his team now is going to be showing up for a bit of a reinitiation. They commit on in. Call down is going to be dropped right now. That is some kill so kill there. And they the have got that kill on that Bane. Now they look for Phonic. Phonic pops the ult. They track him up but it is going to be taken off but he has really track? nowhere to go did they retrack i'm not too I'm sure. Not sure if they didn't see your big fat foot's in the way of the tv screen Dakota. i'm sorry bro <laughs> there's two tv there's one over there use that tv my eyesight's bad me too that's why i'm sitting closer <laughs> to this tv <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but so what do you guys think of the dragon lens on, on yeah. lena that, that's you that's a. Uh, can we split it up into a bkb very later? Un i'd expect the a the aether whatever it is uh, I think this is actually good on him because of the fiery soul. Yeah, you that can be more of a right click. Mm -hmm. That slow siege, you know? But the only thing is, like, you won't be able to use the quarter stuff later, I imagine. No. Yeah. The Ogre Club probably can use it for BKB, but quarter stuff will be or a. Or Scepter. Wasted. <sighs> Casual quarter stuff? Yeah, the quarter stuff you can't really do it for. Uh, Turn into, uh, you know. Use it. The Orchid, of course. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Never gonna pick Lina for you. Orchid yeah. against Abaddon, man. You always say you just need silence for Sabana. Yeah, I know, but why not? It's yeah. not, not a Lina. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it can be a right click here with Fiery Souls. Orchid can amplify that. Yeah, I guess Dota nowadays, you know, anything can, can work. <laughs> it doesn't have to make sense. It just needs to work. Yeah, I mean, in theory, Orchid on Lina isn't the worst idea. Too squishy. 
get comboed by Tiny. Just yep. die. Well, Ben, you so good. You got Dazzle. You got Tusk Snowball. Empire right. just have to continue to play the buddy buddy system here with their farm, and know that they have been sus you know caught they're out just plenty of times. Forced to from buy LTD. a lot of sentries as well, so their supports are really really poor. Yeah. If you look at like A has a Midas, but so Bane is really bounty poor hunters right now. so much. I hate when I'm stuck going against a bounty hunter as a support. You just are always going yeah. to be. Yeah. I imagine you'll be banging your mouse or whatever you call that thing. The yeah. The, the mouse. No, the the green thing. The, the one on the left. Oh pad. yeah, my little. Ergonomic pad. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I mean, can you really fault me on that? <laughs> I hate you have to buy sentries and. So I'm not supposed to fault you for raging. I mean, right. I, I, I mean, I could take it easy. I'm sure, but I'm just. The point is that bounty hunter is a, a frustrating hero to go against as a support. Look it's at that range! Holy snap! It's frustrating to play when you're raging. Is that fair? No, it's not bad. Not <laughs> bad. Oh, BKB. They're going to fight. Good call down to two. Tiny yep. looking like he's in all sorts of trouble. Good get toss a, back, though. Get away from me. Donk. Homing missile. Yep. Oh, and There you go. OD Pixel. That's why you get homing missile. Oh, That's why boy. it's been kicked off the cast, and they'll get two kills off of it. All right. Oh, not Take going anywhere. Nice Yules cancel. They're going to go for the kill. We ain't going to catch it, though. <laughs> they three track kills. You they go top. Uh, they don't want to see it. LGD is killing Empire's heroes. And, and that's yeah, a Vlad. That's, that's Vlad. A yep. Oh, not Empire about to die. Let's move the fucking I, yeah, camera we, away. We can't <laughs> accept that. We're not going to look at it. Guys, tweet at Vlad. What Vlad's is this? camera work is so shoddy. <laughs> no, I think he's doing it on purpose. He just doesn't want to see it when <laughs> they die. <laughs> Everybody, I can't watch. Please send your complaints his way. Track. 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 No one's dying. Uh, they need more heroes here. They, this is like Dragon Lance Lina. Oh, oh. He, did, he was trying to snowball dodge it, I guess. That was uh, okay, I'll take interesting that play from IROTK. And then feed him the shard. If he got the snowball dodge, we'd be calling him a god, though, to be fair. But he didn't. He's and maybe? now we got Yules up on Havost here. Is he going to get the kill on Lina? No, he's not close enough. Oh, they will turn back and get a little dazzled. All right, track kill. Track kill one and two. Wait, where did Siler come from? How did he come he came from, from the river? I guess he came from the river. Yeah. River. Oh, okay. He was from the river. Just cutting yeah. off the retreat. Oh my god, that is some fat support right there. Yeah. Yep. Gem blink. You wish you had that items, you know, to go to every. I game. do. He had three thousand gold. <laughs> what happened? At least didn't buy a four staff and earn with the three k gold. And the tables seem to have turned here for game number two. It's LGD who have been in control. I don't think v is too happy about this. <laughs> no. Just game two. Just game two. I'm happy we're getting a game three, possibly. You just want to watch, watch some good Dota, you know. Hopefully LGD keeps playing like this instead yeah. of their slow-paced game. Well, this is the, the quarterfinal to watch, for me at least. Like, these two teams... Interesting clash of playstyles, and I think on paper pretty evenly matched. And a lot to prove. Yeah, both teams. Both very teams, important. Uh, not being, I mean, Empire have been in good form lately, but they still like uh, haven't really established themselves at the as a T1 team necessarily. Oh, you know what? And there's one more important item on the baton we never talk about: quelling blade. Explain. Just because the way you play the hero is after the laning phase. You are always in a jungle with the last farming creeps, so you want to oh, have yeah. you want to have a quelling blade. But that's once you have the. If you, you if got you quite a late Vlad, though. Yeah, but if you look at how how Universe plays it, he always gets a quelling blade. Yes, he'll even do it on heroes like Tusk or something. Yeah, like. I think quelling blade is actually quite underrated on offlane yep. heroes. It's actually really good. Tusk slide or whatever it may be. I because you, you I mean it's it's super cheap and you sell it, so it's realistically you're only yeah, losing. You, you don't want gold. to have you don't want to have the stout shield with you. You want to have the quelling blade yeah. with the blades, so you farm. Yeah, that's the other thing about the face boost as well. You farm faster compared to the trackers. Yeah. Because this, quelling blade, this yeah. hero actually needs farm on a core position. He needs a lot of farm because you want to get to the point where you can actually get the agonims. Like yep. usually when you don't have those items, it's very you get it there sl much, much lower. Okay. And when you get agonims on the hero, it's like you. it feels like you're going to win the team fight even though you're like 10k behind in net worth. By the way, Tiny rushing BKB is not going to be able to really farm particularly quick. 
this game. Is and Le Lena gonna disassemble her Dragon Lance to make the eggs? I don't think so. she had 3k gold with that point booster, so. Maybe not yet. Maybe later for the BKB. Maybe so she just likes I mean, how it feels. If she doesn't do that, though, she's probably going to have to sell her Lance. Unless well, she can go BKB. Yeah, BKB. You can go BKB. BKB. Yeah. This okay. is definitely a BKB game. Ooh, nice Hello, long DDC. script there for DDC. They will okay. get him down before the grade's going to come off. Rotation snowball. is going to come in here, though, from LGD. Will they be able to do it? ROTK leading in with a snowball. There's going to be a walrus punch. Call down coming in from Silor. Nice landing connection here. And, well, this could be bad oh, for oh. Empire. ROTK, ROTK rather, is he's going to be going down. He did. He dropped every spell. He tanked everything. Dropped his punch even before he dies. <laughs> well played. He's a team player. That's that's ROTK. In yeah, the that is actually ROTK. He yeah. just he's not afraid to go in and just take all the fire. Like some yeah. offlaners maybe will be hesitating to go in because it's like you're going to die. <laughs> There's so high chance that you're going to die with that move. But he did all his spells. He stunned two heroes. He got his punch on Tiny. So he basically disabled three heroes. And he got vision on all of them. Yeah. That was such a good play by by him, even though he died in the end. Yep. Good job, ROTK. And he knew that Lena was teeping in. Like they could have tried to burst Lena as she teeped in. But so he's but like, I've got to go in to protect you. This know, Lina. But you could tell at the start he was really hesitant. He yeah, he, the he backed off. He wanted to go in, then he backed off, and then he just decided, oh, I have to do this. Oh, he had to save the freaking Lena who's yeah. teeping in. Well, not even save the Lena, but like if if Lena's the first one in the fight, Lena maybe dies. So yeah, that was actually Lena is uh, much more important. That than was him. a very, very good play by him. Team play, very good team yep. play. Silas sell his SMY? Didn't he have SMY earlier? Huh? He got SMY uh, before the BKB, I thought. No, I think he I went think I must be thinking of Venge. No, Venge has SMY. Okay, yeah, Venge has SMY. Okay, Venge is going SMY BKB. Look at, you know what you're drinking right now? <laughs> yeah, some good old H2O. <laughs> good I'm old not H2O. hydrated enough, that's the problem. Getting my uh, heroes and items fixed up. And meanwhile, OD Pixel enlightening us with his guitar. He's trying to serenade you, Winter. With the song of the noob. Song of the siren. Now already Empire, like sheep, shepherd back into their base. Look out for that thing! Got it. LGD though, clearly in control more of this map. Have the power of the Aegis here. And Empire just going to have to hope for LGD to really drop the ball in this one if they hope uh, for they something have, special. They still have very good high ground defense. A, a tiny. I think their high ground defense is not something you should underestimate if you're LGD. If yep. you make one bad play, you get swapped. Like, one person gets swapped into a bad position and you you land an ice blast on two or three. It's It could be really bad for LGD when they're pushing high ground. Even though LGD are in the driving seat right now, the game is not by any means over. It's probably 7-3 to three in their favor. But Empire has a very good lineup to come back into the game. They have a, but they can't really farm efficiently. Like, Tiny doesn't even have an Ag Scepter, so... Yeah, that's a problem too. They need AA Ags too. Yep. He's close. But they have really like strong late game, yo. Like, AA has Midas, yep. so they are very high level. There's spin, spin Grip. Abaddon is also a very strong late game. And if, if they win one fight where like Tiny survived, gets the kill on Gyro, suddenly that's like... Even Abaddon right surviving the fights and you get Aghanims is game changing. Yeah. So, there's a lot of points in the in Empire's lineup that can actually turn the game. Yeah. Abaddon is one point. Tiny is one point. Venge is also... An, Venge and the two supports are also a big points that they could turn the game around if they get the yeah. necessary net worth on those heroes. Venge or with Tiny, that's some serious bonus damage too. Yeah. It's, it's Whereas base. for LG, yeah, they have the map control, they have track, but if they somehow Ow. lose too many heroes in one push, yeah. Gyro cannot carry yeah. alone against Leave uh, that ogre alone. Lineup. RTK hates him. What? What? Okay, that's, that's that is not the Logan build. That is interesting, but it might actually be good though. If you think about it. I mean, shield range, range is yeah. pretty pathetic. Mi okay. Miss Miss Coil, Miss Coil okay. also. But not sure if it's the yeah, item that would yeah, change. Uh, like more importantly, you have to look at it at w what items on the Baden that you get will change the game immediately. Scepter. Yeah, it's only Agony Scepter. I'm not sure how much this item will do. It, it seems cool with the range on the Athletic Shield and the Miss Coil, but in theory, is that going to win you the game? I'm not so sure. Potentially. Potentially, but Aghanim is Lower like chance than Ags. Lower sure. chance, but a significant amount, I think. Yeah. It's like 3% for Lens, like 20% for X. Yeah. <laughs> that is actually quite accurate. 
and it's like halfway of your agonims as well. Like in this sort of game, every every, <laughs> every it's an item you can goal. buy now though while you're worried about a push. The ags is gonna not gonna come for at least another. Yeah, but you're never you're never gonna turn the game around now. That is the issue I have. Like I don't know. I don't think. Oh, you're not looking to turn around the game. You're looking to hold your base with LGD like pounding at the yeah, front Yeah, but but it won't win you the game. I don't think it'll win him the game. It's That's definitely a, okay. a defensive item. I mean, I'll give you that. But I, I yeah, we'll just see. Maybe it will work out because of the range of the Apollo here. But I, I highly doubt it will. And getting to the Agonims as a baton is difficult. It's really difficult. I also think they have enough good spells to save people. They have defensive sleep. They have swap. Like, and Aphotic Shield, I think those are already pretty good. Hopefully they can save Tiny here. Tracked. Wow, well, he's... They didn't give him a shield yet to remove it, but... Toss. He wanted to go in for a Blink Toss, yeah. We're gonna do some awesome swap to toss back What's plays. What's he not shielding the... He's a fountain. I think he has it up, he's not doing it. No, he's... He he's went back fountain. to fountain. Oh, okay. He went back to fountain. Okay. The big item for the big boy right here. Yep. Smoke. Go. Go. I think they just want to Go. farm though at this point. It's Maybe next Roche they smoke up. But even that's difficult. very difficult, yeah, to contest. <laughs> the problem with fighting outside is right now LGD have the map control. So I think ideally is like what Ben mentioned. You smoke during the rush timer. Right now it's quite difficult for them to smoke and find kills. Unless they're certain that LG is doing something like Roche. So, I imagine they will just wait for that timing. Before they try to smoke. What does Lena have? Uh, Shivas? Right. Oh. There we go, the answer. Shiva. So, she did she sell her lance? Uh, no. No? Okay. Still has the lance. No TP. It's probably like the last slot she yeah. replaces. Maybe Boots of Travel next and then upgrade. No. Moonshark! Moonshot. What's wrong with Moonshot? Kappa. No Kappa. You, no. Have, you have Dragon Lance. You you have still Kappa. You don't need attack speed though. <laughs> sure he has tons. I think. You'd rather get. You'd rather get like if you're gonna go BKB, damage. I guess. Machine gun Lina. She was BKB <laughs> or just tanky Lina. She was BKB. Yeah, B BKB is way too important this year. I think you disassemble Lance for the BKB. Yeah, BKB is way too important. Last item maybe you go like I don't know Hex or something. Refresher. Bots yeah. too. First, yeah. Before, <laughs> I guess you're not too worried about split push right now to have yeah. to get the rush the bots or it's anything. It's very difficult for Empire to split push with yeah. their heroes. They need to be around each other, group up, hug hugging each other. But at high ground defense, if LGD makes a mistake, they can easily just lose the game against those heroes. Okay. MMY stalking out a possible tension towards the Roche here in the near future and. Empire seem to be itchy for a. Uh, do they have a solar fight. crest? Does anyone know? Yes, Dazzle. No, for Empire, do they have oh, a For solar? Empire? I don't think so. No. AA is going Ags, Bane is poor as shit, yeah. Abaddon does not have it, Venge, a tiny do not, so yeah, no no solar crest. LGD have to be careful and not pushing high ground too early. Like a swap deep in the base can just ruin their push, especially on Alina yeah. or Gyro, if they don't get the swap off. Or oh, if they, they might get, like get kills here. Yeah. Uh oh. They make a move on a resolution here. Defensive sleep, not going to hold him. Maybe he's in Very trouble. long, maybe. He's Kept dead. alive with a very oh, nice grave. Laguna, Laguna out. Through the BKB. Resolution does go down here. Oh, false stop by RTK. It's just a retreat play here from Empire, it looks Holy like. Shit. but That team play right there. RTK. Oh. Oh. Holy shit. He got, he got the false stop at the last second. He saved maybe. He gets the shards, blocks Dang. off the baton. And then maybe got the Yules blink off. Oh that was ROTK. Uh, that was destruction right there. ROTK is the team player. <laughs> Okay, 6k gold swing. When you're ahead getting a 6k gold swing off a team fight, that's that's bounty hunter things right there. That might just straight be game. Tiny uh. no buyback, Abaddon no buyback. They got caught into a way bad position there. Tiny yep. pop his BKB when he's already yeah, so Even low. though they're all dead, siege from the low ground so you can miss. There you go. <laughs> miss, miss, miss. Just get up in there and hit it. Well, doesn't matter now. Oh, you don't set ice blast because she's low ground. They did get the racks and they're, they're, they're so away. safe. They're going for Rosha now. Yeah, <laughs> that was incredibly safe. They Roche. didn't even finish the range racks. Rosha not quite up. They had. I mean, look, Venge is still dead. They had so much time. They could have finished the range. Tiny's rack. still dead. That's. Even, it's not even back. It's more about like the money from a range racks than anything. It's up now, bros. Oh man, that was too safe for my liking. Range racks is good money. They lost first game, so 
you have to understand that. You have to s make sure you secure the game. It's no excuse for making a wrong a pussy decision. Play. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's why I'm putting it. Uh, yeah, but I, I kind of feel like they are quite nervous too. So you don't want to make any mistakes. So range racks doesn't mean so much. Uh, oh, they see everyone. The Spanish. I guess Empire just don't have the gem up. Okay, AA. They should have seen that blast, and now should be a good time to Roche. Yeah. But oh, they have yep. to check Roche again, because the last time they checked Roche wasn't up. They will. And they see it's up. They see that guy, they see his dumb little Saint hat, and they're going to take him out. Tusk with Ultior. Is that... Lincoln's. Lotus. Lincoln's. Lincoln's is good. Lincoln's? Yeah, no, Lincoln's not Lotus. Lotus doesn't. And Lotus isn't Ultior. Oh, oh, oh. Ultior. For some reason I thought first. Yeah, I think it's definitely Lincoln's. He wants yeah. the Lincoln's. They don't need cheap on Tusk. Manta, bro. I'm into Scotty, that. Scotty, bro. Yeah, but I kind of agree bro. with Ben. Maybe Lotus is actually still better. Yeah, I, I, well, when Ben said Lotus, I was. It's very much like the uh, one I was, I know, what I was expecting him to a, get. It's an ultimate op. That's why we said Lincoln's. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, Lotus Orb is like a more cost effective version of a Lincoln's these I days. I think Lotus is way better because of the. Because you're worried about getting swapped in, right? Yep. If if they have. I guess they can. What are they supposed to pop with? Cold Feet, maybe? Cold Feet in a swap they could pull off. But if, if you have the. Oh, Lotus he cancel the TPs. They can't go back. Just one, but that's a Bane. All right. Oh, Bane is the PKB cancelling hero. Oh, dear. Uh, all right. And now they're just gonna start a fight, knowing that Bane isn't here. Rex is gonna go down. Yep. Oh, Ooh, interesting Laguna doesn't quite get the kill here. Voss though, he's trying to man mode here on a maybe, but he might have to let her go. Now looks for OTK, gonna get saved up with the grave. Oh, the and dragon, it's Voss now who's getting right click down from maybe. Maybe he's gonna get it. Yep. Dragon Lance, <laughs> dude, that build is legit. That build is actually legit. It's so good. There you go. And look at his range. Oh, he realized. You I get know, the Dragon Lance with up. the Aether Lens, you think? No. Too not for core. You don't many you can't waste two item slots on cheap items like that. All right. Game three. Here we go. ROTK. ROTK. MVP this game. ROTK. So much better than last game. Early game as well. He, did, he did a lot with yeah. his rotations. So I think overall he's been the person that put in a lot of work this they, game. They just play so much differently than last game. I don't get it. I really don't either. Some I games just like, okay, kill, kill, kill. Some yeah. just like, oh, Siler, carry us, bro. I feel that Gyro is really important for LTV. Gyro and BH. I, I, BH. I'm really surprised that Gyro made it to fifth pick. And I feel like LGD should prioritize it more as a pick, and I feel like Empire should prioritize it more as a ban. You talk about Empire, a team that likes to fight, and when you're up against a, a team that likes to fight, you pick BH. Because when you get trades, trades will always favor you. Yeah. The Abaddon did not work out. Like, we... I think a better Abaddon play, or one that was more familiar with yeah, the Yeah, he's not familiar with one. the hero, I can tell. Like, it's the item selection is number one. And the way he was playing the... Uh, th when I saw the Tranquil Boots, then I knew he wasn't very familiar. Because I, I don't think you get Tranquil Boots when you are in his position. You only get it when you are really... You get zoned out so bad, you have no farm at all. He, 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 he had farm, and he had levels. Yeah. I don't think he... Yeah, he the support made use left of him it. alone. I don't think he, he made use of the space. He had to be a bigger force. Sad. I don't think they should be opening with that Oracle or Sh Spirit. Uh, one, two I bands think it's just what either. LGD were doing yesterday. I mean, I would, I would love they were to see both some of Earth those Spirit. Yesterday? Yeah. Yep. They were running both those picks yesterday. They, the, the, then their you group? Pick, after they picked something like Earth Spirit, that's yeah. when you then pick the Abaddon. Yeah. Very they good had a group Earth with uh, Uporn and uh, Leviathans, and all those teams were playing Earth Spirit and all the new heroes Oracle, so it was a good 6.86 preview, but we don't get to see it. Maybe game Of course, three. I don't get to see it. Well, yeah. well, well Jerax well. played Earth Spirit. You yeah. got some replays to watch later. It. Yeah, I'm excited about it. Yep. But for now, we are going to be treated to game number three. So yep. we'll cut to a minor break, and when we get back, it's going to be game three of LGD versus Empire. One must go on, one must go home. <laughs>